video. I wasn't actually planning on filming today, but I had something that I really wanted to show you and I couldn't wait. So, <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Morning, we watched some Paw Patrol, Pets. didn't we? <laughs> and then we were very tired, so we actually got back into bed this morning because somebody rang our buzzer at 1 30 this morning, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's sit still while we're eating, let's sit still while we're eating, or we'll put the food away, okay? That's a good job. Um, so yeah, somebody rang our buzzer at 1.30, so we were kind of tired. So we actually went and got back into bed for I don't even know how long. But I definitely fell back to sleep because I had a dream. So that was definitely needed. Then what did we do? We did some messy play, made some potions. Somebody had a bath this morning because he was absolutely covered. I do this like messy play thing. No, 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 sweetheart. Not while you're eating. Um, where he plays with flour and water and it just... <laughs> <laughs> it just makes so much mess. <laughs> it makes so much mess. I'm just sitting here now like this. Can you move? You're stuck. You're stuck. <laughs> Yeah, we went and got back into bed, did the messy play, and then I had like a bunch of random things to do. I had to clean up from the messy play, which was like so much mess. Needed to wash up, did a couple of loads of washing up, did some laundry. This one has just been playing and being so adorable this morning. And then, ah! <laughs> obviously not now. <laughs> Yeah, then I got um, a little bit ready because we're actually going to head out and go and grab some lunch. Oh, we sneeze. <laughs> Did you have the sneezes? <laughs> so we're about to head out to town, grab some lunch, and then head to Dobby's because this little one wants to go to Soft Play. The reason why I wanted to jump on really quickly is because I wanted to show you not the outfit so much, but I wanted to show you the jacket that I got from Timu. I decided to keep it. I mean... I think it was pretty obvious from the trial that I was going to keep it. Do you like my jacket? Oh, hey. You are right, beep, beep. bad lady. Beep, beep. Why am I a bad lady? Anyone else? Like You're... any other boy mums out there that just gets beaten up on a daily basis? So this is the jacket. I absolutely love it. And if I can remember, I'll try and leave it linked. But I am terrible at the moment at remembering to link things. So I'm trying. I'll try and remember. Pick a blue. Ah! <laughs> made me jump. But the real reason why I wanted to jump on was not just to show you the Pickle coat, blue. but I got a delivery yesterday and... Hello. Pickle. Are you kidding with this handbag? So mm -hmm. this is going to already be up on my channel actually by the time this video is live. So if you want to know where this is from, links, discount code, etc, etc, then check out my handbags playlist or like my one of my most recent handbag videos i'll try and make sure that a picture of the bag is in at the thumbnail so that you know exactly which one but i just cannot get over this bag so it's a suede shoulder bag and it's just absolutely stunning this is literally my perfect autumn bag hmm? so yeah i'm gonna wear this bag today it doesn't really go with the outfit but i'm just so desperate to wear it that i just i have to wear it today because it's just so stunning and i know that i get a lot of bags on my channel but 
there. Oh, excuse me, sir. Thank you very much. Right, excuse me. <laughs> but this particular bag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> okay, can you hold your horses for two seconds so mummy can finish filming this and then we'll go, I promise. <laughs> clack, 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 What are you doing? Clack, clack, if anyone is wondering, no, he doesn't know how to twerk. He just watched the video of that little pig that scratches its butt to that song, that Rihanna song, Work. He's not actually twerking. But anyway, back to the bag, finally. Um, hello, sweet. I get a lot of handbags on my channel and I'm always so appreciative of them and I love them all, but there are standout ones every now and again that just make me like super, super giddy. And this is one of them, one where I'm just like super obsessed with it and I really do feel like this is going to be one of my favourites this full season because I mean, look at the colour of it, the style of it, the shape of it. I love... Excuse me. Okay, excuse me. We'll show that in a second. I love the structured gonna, top handles. I'm going to talk about it maybe one tomorrow one. when I actually have like some time. But I think somebody wants my attention, so I'm going to go. Noise. I've got my little pumpkin spice latte ready to go. That will keep my hands nice and warm on the walk. And then I thought I'd just really quickly show you my jewelry. This is the jewelry that I used to have available on my old Etsy site. So I've got this ring, this is from Timu. It's kind of like a Cartier love ring dupe. And then these rings were from my Etsy store. There's just two of these. Either side, I love the way that that looks. And sometimes I do it with the same type of ring stack on this finger. Then these two rings again are from my old Etsy store too. And they're all gold plated sterling silver with cubic zirconia stones. So beautiful. And then I've got my really stunning linear necklace on. And then just my Timu, really teeny tiny studs. Super simple, but I feel really cute and put together today. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you really quickly. So we're gonna head off now and go and play at Dobby's. Hello everybody, I'm jumping on really quickly just to show you a couple of things that I picked up yesterday and I think I've already mentioned like two of the things that I potentially am going to show you um, but it's actually really late on in the day, I think it's like half five hence why it's like dark and I'm having to like use a little light to try and <clears throat> make sure that you can see me but I'm in my pyjamas already and I've got, <laughs> you probably can't see this, I don't know why I'm showing this on the internet but it's actually like tucked into my trousers because I'm so cold and I really don't want to put my heat in on yet so I've got a hot water bottle on but it is literally tucked into my pyjamas so it's like in my trousers and then it's like in my top as well to try and like keep it close to my body so that I can walk around because <laughs> I need to do some bits before my son comes home. But I also don't want to be cold while I do them. So yeah, I've tucked it into my trousers so that I can walk around and like do my bits and bobs. But anyway, I'm starting to prep for Halloween. Obviously Halloween is in a couple of weeks and I really want to host a Halloween party for my son and his two cousins. I need to get one more pumpkin because I picked these up the other day, these like little mini pumpkins and I could only carry two 
in my buggy so I had to put the third one back but it's fine because I checked there yesterday and they have loads of pumpkins left still so they're only 89p each so I'm going to pick up another one and then we'll have three and I'm trying to like think of fun things to do for this like little Halloween party so I'm going to host it here hopefully I'm going to either do it this Saturday or the following Saturday I'm not really sure um because I think I've actually had some plans crop up this Saturday so potentially I might not be able to do it this week it might be next week but um first thing that I grabbed is some Halloween plates these are just from Poundland I thought that'd be really cute for the kids to have their snacks on to go with that I got the matching cups so the kiddos can have their drinks in some spooky Halloween cups too and they were just a pound each per pack then I went into the works. I don't have too much stuff. It's literally like I have three things to show you now. Um, went into the works and I picked up this Halloween activity set. So it's just a coloring set. Thought that would be cute for the kids to do. I don't think I'm going to use the pencils. I think I'm just going to use the pens that I already have for my son here. Just I think it would be better for the kids to do that. So there's loads of different style of pictures for the kids to color in and little activities. The thing that I'm the most excited about though is I found this and it was the last one in the works. And it was, oh, holy heck, it was five pounds. I didn't think it was that much, but it's fine because I know that it's going to be fun. But it's Halloween bingo. I cannot wait to play this with the kids. I think that it's going to be so, 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 so much fun. So we're going to do Halloween bingo. We're going to do pumpkin painting. We're also going to do the colouring. I thought pumpkin painting would be safer than pumpkin carving, especially with three, four-year-olds. Um, and then I need to think of some other fun things to do. I think I'm going to do a pass the parcel potentially. So I need to come up with a Halloween playlist for some like Halloween songs. And then I need to source the bits for a Halloween themed pass the parcel. But I'm really, really excited. And I'm hoping that that's enough. I think I might do one more thing. Maybe I will pre-bake some like Halloween sugar cookies or something like that. And then the kids can decorate them and then they can eat them. And then I'm going to get in a ton of different like halloween -y style snacks i know the kids are going to go trick-or-treating so i know that they're going to have a ton of tip um so i'm hoping to i don't know my son keeps talking about all the treats that he wants to get for the party and it's like i don't want to say no but also i don't want him to like ruin his teeth and i also don't want him to like ruin his stomach either so i don't know i'm debating on what it is that i should do but like a few little bowls of things will be fine like something sweet because my son's quite into sweets now rather than chocolate, even though he loves chocolate still. And then maybe he said that he wanted to get some eyeballs. And I said, which ones do you want? I said, do you want gummy eyeballs or do you want chocolate eyeballs? And he said both. So I don't know, but he definitely wants to get some Halloween treats. So I think we're going to venture on into town tomorrow and pick up a few last minute bits. I also have a couple of returns to do tomorrow. So I've got some returns to do at Primark. I've also got a TK Maxx return to do. And then I've also got a Timu return to do. So I've got a lot of returns to do tomorrow. So it should keep me and my bubba very busy all day Wednesday, which is absolutely fine. Um, He's like the best helper when I have things to do because I try and like make them fun and I try and like give him things to do and get him involved so that it's not just like mum's dragging him around doing all these things and also we do do fun things for him then another thing actually that my son and me found yesterday in the works and I was really surprised that he let me get this because my son's a bit funny about I mean you know how kids just go with the flow with a lot of things my son isn't quite like that. My son doesn't really go with the flow with a lot of things that are quite normal for kids. But I do know that, you know, the elf on the shelf, I know that for a lot of kids, they're actually quite scary. A lot of kids don't like them. So I really thought that my son was going to hate the idea of an elf on a shelf. We found some elves on a shelf yesterday in the works when we were looking for the spooky Halloween bits. And... I explained what it was about and I said that we were going to take him home with us and we called him Elliot Elf and we have our very own for the first time Elf on a shelf so this is Elliot Elf and I don't know why but it just brings me so much joy the fact that like my son is getting into the festive spirit and he's actually um I don't know just like really reveling in the experience and I said he's going to keep an eye on mummy too to make sure that mummy's behaving so that mummy can have presents at Christmas but yes this is Elef elephant this is Elliot Elf and he was three pounds from the works and it was so cute because he was just over there in the buggy um yesterday and I was unpacking the shopping and my son actually picked him up and brought him all the way over to my little table in the corner and he said this is where he's gonna live and so he just sat him 
on the table. And um, I'm going to take his tag off, actually. There we go, Elliot. That's better, isn't it? So, yeah, he just sat him down on the table and he just, this morning, he just kept talking about the elf on the shelf. And I just think it's so cute because I really thought that he would terrify him. So I'm really excited now. I kind of just want to get Halloween out of the way so that we can start reveling in the Christmas festivities because my son seems to be like hardcore into Christmas just like me. So I'm really, really excited for that fact. But yeah, we've just sat Elliot back there on his proud perch so he can sit and watch and make sure that we're behaving i didn't want to put him in his bedroom because i thought that might freak him out a little bit if there's just like an elf sitting on his shelf because his shelf directly faces his bed they're kind of like that so thought probably not the best idea but yeah i think he's quite happy there so i'm literally just about to take my makeup off for the night and then i'm cooking some dinner at the moment i've just got some pasta on the stove and then i'm literally just going to have tuna and pasta and then maybe like whip up a little bit of veg i call it like a veg medley when i just do like a mixed combo of different veg just to kind of like get a little bit of vegetable in my meal as well but today's been a really good day the reason why i haven't been able to vlog today is just because i've been so so busy so i went to the gym first thing this morning and then i did a ton of work i filmed two videos and i fully edited and uploaded and did the admin for three videos so i just feel like i've absolutely smashed work out the park today and I'm really happy about that fact. I also managed to fit in a little bit of time to journal today because I've just had some stuff weighing on my mind, stuff like, you know, just decisions that I need to make in life, things that are and aren't serving me, what I want out of life and whether or not there are certain things at the moment that are maybe holding me back from achieving those things. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to do a little bit of self-reflection, a bit of self-work, and I always feel like it's really important for us to kind of continuously check in with ourselves. I know that life can be hectic and crazy, but I do feel like it's very important for us to do that and make the time to make sure that we're doing okay because I do feel like it's our responsibility because it's not down to anybody else to make sure that we're okay. It's up to us to look after ourselves. Obviously, we have people that care about us, but to make sure that we have the best well-being that we possibly can have. We have to have these regular self check-ins and reflections and stuff like that. And there's just a few things going on in my life at the moment that I'm not quite sure are serving me. I actually feel like there are certain situations that might be a little bit unhealthy for me. And I'm just trying to decide whether or not I need to step away from those situations so that I can obviously be the best version of myself because you only get one go at this life. So I'm kind of not really willing to waste my time on things that just don't serve me. So yeah, that's my little two cents for the evening, but I'm going to sign off now and I hope you're having a lovely evening when you're watching this or whatever time of day it is when you're watching this part of my vlog. But yeah, I'm sending you lots of love and a huge hug just in case you need it.